Hi, this is Longma, and this is Azare, and hey. we're bringing you another story time. <laughs> this is a story time about the time my grandmother got <coughs> all on the sheets in her face. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. And <laughs> I wasn't doing anything that could have gave her the... Bukaki kamikaze. So. so, okay. Here's the thing. I come from a huge family, so at their family gatherings, we all kind of just, you know, hang out. <laughs> so, my grandmother has Alzheimer's, so she goes through extreme bouts of emotion, so she gets mad very easily and she's just like a small little woman with a whole lot of spice which is like with alzheimer's your personality normally switches like if you're like a docile quiet person you'll flip and become like outgoing or like loud and rambunctious but with her, she was so quiet and prestige and classy. Now she's just like, my grandma's a little ratchet. <laughs> she's Chief Keef in it. Mm. Bobby Schmurder in it. She's Young Ma. Nah, she ain't Young Ma. Ooh! <laughs> I'm not Ooh! So we come from a family member's repath. And so my grandmother didn't want to come back home, so she was upset. She had an attitude and was like, you have to come home with us because you have to take your medic medication. If you don't take your medication, you'll get sick. Sicker. She's like, no, I don't want to go. You're not going to let me stay here. I'm going to be mad. And I'm like, Grandma, just get in the car so we can go back. So we finally coaxed her into getting in the car and we get home and she's having a Bits, guys she's closing doors slamming them running up and down the stairs and I'm like grandma go in the room and sleep no I don't want to sleep in the room <laughs> so she's so upset that she's like ye like angry she doesn't want to talk to no one mind you my family does an Airbnb so she takes the sheets from the Airbnb laundry bag, because we usually take them, bleach the clothes, pine solid, do everything to disinfect the sheets so we can have another tenant come over. So instead of her waiting for us to give her actual clean sheets, she goes and takes some random sheets. <laughs> so it's so hot in my room, so I'm laying in the living room and I'm on the couch in front of the AC and she's on the couch adjacent for me, wrapped up in some sheets. So I'm sleeping and I'm like knocked out. My aunt, <laughs> my aunt comes there downstairs and she sees my granny wrapped up in the blankets. Mind you, I'm waking up at this time, but I'm trying to act like I'm sleeping. So my eyes are closed, but I'm, my ears are wide open listening to the conversation going on. And she's like, Ma, where did you get where did you get those sheets from? She's like, hmm. And she has an attitude. <laughs> she says, where do you get these sheets from? She's like, don't ask me any damn questions. <laughs> I'm just in the couch crying, like trying to like <laughs> laugh on the low. But she's like. Chris, she's like, Crystal, the sheets Ma is sleeping has jizz on it. I'm dying because she's saying, you know those sheets you have, you have, it has jizz on it. That's why nobody touched the sheets and I used, I had to use gloves to take the sheets off the bed. <laughs> she's just sitting there with the blanket around her face like this. And I'm just dying laughing like, Grandma. You slept in sperm-filled sheets. Like, you had somebody's babies across your back. And she is upset. But she didn't understand what my aunt was saying. So she gets up, she gets mad, and she's like, Oh, I'm going to go talk to those boys. I.e., my, my, my brother and my cousin. I'm going to go talk to those boys. Because they're not supposed to be having sex and 
putting sperm on the sheets. And I'm like, Grandma, she said that the tenants put sperm on the sheets. She said, no, she didn't. She said, <laughs> she said the boys put sperm on the sheets. And I am just, I'm still laying down on the couch crying and laughter. <laughs> like, I'm just like holding tears. And my eye is about to like, she's fuming. Like, if steam could come out of her, she, she would be on fire. Like, she would be like straight up on fire because she's you're telling her something and she's telling you no and it's like ma there's clearly jizz on these sheets there's sperm all over it. it's white patches all over nobody touched those sheets because there was jizz on them so why are you still there and she's running through the house Trying, I was like, Grandma, Grandma, calm down. I finally get out the bed after laughing for like 10 minutes while this mm. whole thing is happening. And I'm like, Grandma, just calm down. It's not that serious. Just put the sheets down, come upstairs and take a shower, and you'll be fine. But that was the time my grandma slept in just filled sheets. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I want to add a joke, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to have to do the thing over. No, it's 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 wrong. <laughs> you guys don't need to hear this. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Cause, yes. You know, maybe more story times. And don't sleep in skeet sheets. Skeet, skeet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.